Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> uh, Mr. Speaker, I wish to add my voice to um, so the um, remarks made by the Prime Minister um, as it relates to our comrade, honorable, the Honorable Member for Babunu, in terms of um, she not being well at this time and pledging our present support. And of course, knowing that she will get back to her feet like I did some time ago and to continue the work that she has started. So our present support goes out to her. Mr. Speaker, there are times in our life as we embark on this journey of service that every aspect of our life comes into play. And so we are not excused or we are not um, spared from the issue of family tragedies as well as our health. We put all of this on the table for the sake of our people and for the sake of what we believe in. But Mr. Speaker, more substantially, I rise to support this initiative, this submotion brought by the Prime Minister to remove VAT on sporting equipment for St. Lucian athletes through their organizations or as individuals seek to make or to procure or to import or to purchase sporting equipment for the purposes of sporting activities. Mr. Speaker, this is an attitude of this government, and of course, I've always said that one needs to pay attention to the trajectory of this government, where we are heading. Mr. Speaker, like the Prime Minister said, it was this administration that brought to life the George Odlam Stadium, the Darren Cricket Grounds. And of course, Mr. Speaker, in recent times, I usually laugh at my colleague, Minister of sports and said to him since he have become the minister of sports as if he's always been in a winning attitude and you could almost every now and then hear of the exploits and the winning of our people over in St. Lucia and of course there is an old chorus at church that speaks to Jesus is the winner man and not in that category but I have said to him that he is the winner man because it makes me feel proud to know that our athletes over <laughs> are doing well in the various sporting disciplines. But Mr. Speaker, one would ask, why would the Prime Minister at this time consider removing VAT on sporting equipment? Mr. Speaker, it is, when we say that we are putting people first, this is not, this should not be taken as an arbitrary statement. We do not think of sports, we think of the people, and we think of the people in every dimension in the various way that they exist. What is it that they're doing? And of course, we know our sporting population. We know what they're about. And for that reason, we have considered to remove that. Remove that on sporting equipment. Of course, Mr. Speaker, you know, whenever I make my, my presentation, I can see a smoke of a smile from this side. And I, and I ask, why is the leader, of the, the leader of the opposition smiling at the statement that we are indeed putting people first? Mr. Speaker, it is different than when this side, in terms of all sporting disciplines in this country, that they can say, let me invest in horse racing. You understand? Let me invest in horse racing. Let me import. Let me, the biggest investment in sports ever for this administration is a horse racing track, as against the Darren Cricket. Cricket, which is a West Indian sporting culture and activity. Football, the most popular sporting discipline in this country. Athletics. But this administration said, horses, thoroughbreds, a horse racing track, with everything else that comes with it, a $13 million road. Mr. Speaker, St. Lucia needs to get away from the bush and the noise and just put this thing on the scale and balance it off. As to who is really concerned about the people and ordinary people of St. Lucia. 
So when I say that we are putting people first, this is not a statement. It is the didactic, it is the ethos, it is what we believe in. It is what guides the operations of this government. It is what guides the conversation in, in cabinet. Putting people first, we test every decision by this. Are we putting the people first? And when an idea, when a light strikes, and then it comes to the, to the point that we need to provide support to ordinary people, we have no second idea, no thought, no, no doubt about we should move forward and provide support. Mr. Speaker, in my youthful days playing football on the Marshall Field, I had a six peg, boots, football boots. And of course, I know that Taylor had to work on it for a number of years for me to maintain a presence on a football field. And how much it would have been for me if I had the opportunity to receive football boots and football gears, your socks and your, you know, at a cheaper rate. Today, we are saying to our people, move forward, press forward, because we have a government that will put you first in every aspect possible for us as it relates to your development, as it relates to what you like. And of course, the Minister of Youth and Sports, in a short stint of time, and every time he makes a, presence, a presentation or he presents a group who has done well, it epitomizes that reality. So I'm proud this morning to support this initiative on behalf of my ministry, on behalf of the people of Castry Southeast, Mr. Speaker, Cooley Town, and, for, and we've just launched a football competition. And this morning when I woke up, I saw a request for sporting gears for football boots. So I know the Minister of, Tourism, uh, Minister of Education will assist in bringing on additional football gears so that I could share with the young men of Tuapito who have just started the football competition. And of course, the Prime Minister, our dear Prime Minister has made it possible by removing VAT. What, what more can we ask? But of course, if I know on the... <laughs> yes, there will be hope. <laughs> Prime Minister, you need to protect me even here as well. <laughs> yes, but there will be hope. The holistic opportunities for personal empowerment will ensure that we support this initiative by providing support to our parliamentarians across the board. Thank you very much, Mr. Prime Minister, on behalf of Cash Resource, supporting individuals and all those poor individuals who want to invest in their sporting discipline. Removal of that has made it even more possible for them. Thank you.